One of the great things about using phones for your photos is it's the camera that's always with you. Uh, one of the downsides to using phones for photos is once we take the photo, we often, at least I do, get lazy and don't edit them, don't do anything with them. Uh, and part of that is because, you know, how do I get the photos from here to my computer? I'm going to show you how to do that. So um, I'm going to use an app uh, called Google Photos as a bridge to get the photos from any phone, from an iPhone or an Android phone, to a computer uh, using the Google Photos app. So this is how we're gonna do it. Here we go. So the first step is to get the Google Photos app, and that's really simple. Just, just go to your, your app store and just search for Google Photos, okay? And the Google Photos app uh, often shows up as the second one because there's an ad and it just says Google Photos. So nice and easy, you'll just install that and away you go. Uh, if you already have Google Photos, you can just go ahead and open it. Now, one thing to note here, if you don't already have Google Photos, you'll need to create an account, which is free. Uh, so you'll use your, create a username and password for that Google Photos account. My suggestion, write it down somewhere as soon as you create it, because you're also going to need to get that from your computer. And I'll show you that in the, the second video. All right. So uh, once you've got this going, uh, you're just going to tap on uh, uh, open once it's installed and it will take you to Google Photos. Uh, one setup suggestion I have would be uh, to, to do a couple little settings things and the way you do settings in Google Photos is uh, in the search bar that's there at the top, on the right hand side there's your picture, a profile picture, and you'll tap on that and that gives you access to your settings. So from here you'll go down to photo settings and um, the one at the top is the one that we're going to change right now. And back up and sync is turned on by default, which means all the photos from your phone are going to go to your Google account. Uh, I'm going to suggest turning that off for a couple reasons. First reason is uh, Google now only has a limited amount of free storage. So if you've got lots and lots of photos on here, you'll fill that up. The second reason is it takes a long time to synchronize, so if you don't do this until right before the assignment is due, it's gonna take a while. And then the, maybe the main reason to turn this off is because uh, some of the photos that are on your phone might be private, and uh, if you're working in maybe a public space on your computer to edit photos or even amongst your family or stuff, there might be some photos you don't want other people to see. So uh, here's how you do this. Just go to Backup and Sync, tap on that, and by default, it's turned on. So it looks like this. Uh, and uh, turn it off so that it's not blue anymore. And I will show you in the next video how to individually select photos that you do want to back up and sync. And the synchronized part's the part we're going to leverage to get the photos from here to Google's computers and then from Google computer to your computer. So I'll show you that in the next video.